Chinaldo and welcome to this edition, special edition of the Plastic General Workshop. Now, this isn't a normal episode of the Plastic General. This is my workshop edition where I show people how to customize tanks and airplanes and play sets or action figures and how to enhance your 132 scale World War II toy soldier collections and the vehicles and stuff that go along with it. Now, in this episode, I'm going to be doing something really special, and uh, I'm really excited to get into it. So, check this out. So, here it is. This is the coveted 1961 movie. Uh, the movie was called The Guns of Navarone, and uh, in the, a few years later, some maybe, somewhere in the, maybe the mid-60s, uh, Marks, the toy soldier, co the toy company in Marks, came out with the official Guns of Navarone playset. And uh, a good friend of mine, Craig Scribner, always wanted the Guns of Navarone playset. And and Craig goes, "Hey, I have one of those, and I don't do anything with it." And and he sent it to me as a gift. And so I always wanted to take this fun but silly playset and make it really um, realistic and really cool. And that's what I'm going to do in front of you guys. Okay, let's check out this really cool box art. Um, uh, the uh, World War II Battle of Guns of Navarone playset. A giant playset. Look at that. It's got the tower on top. With uh, German soldiers firing down. Um, more German soldiers defending. Look how cool that is. Imagine being a little kid and seeing this incredible box art. No, son, we uh, can't afford it. It's all of $10. Look at those Germans firing down. And, and of course, all the Americans coming out of the landing crafts. And tanks. How would the tanks get up on the shore? And, and look how silly that is. Like, like a little tiny mountain is probably like 40 feet high. But anyways, this is the Guns of Navarone place, and this is what it looks like inside. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to look at all the, the components inside because the thing is pretty complete. Recreate the World War II Battle of Navarone with this unique, exciting action playset. Comes with two foot high mountain, two complete armies, 92 soldiers, four military vehicles, two long range cannons, complete play area in front and back. Five play levels, working elevator, working hoist, authentic World War II flags and labels. Look at that. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. So you ready to see what's inside this thing? Let's check it out. Okay, big box. Boom, 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 boom. A big black mountain. What do you do that? Now I'm going to show you what my plans are going to be. Look at that stupid smile I make. That's, you know when I make this smile like this? That's when I know it's time to cut when the editing. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we have the, uh, the, oh, the original instruction manual. Navarone place set. You get the mountain and all that stuff. I'm missing this little door here, but I, I could live with that. Um... A lot of these, so I don't have the flagpole, don't need that, that's really silly anyway. Uh, this little door thing, I'll work on that, I'll make something down. Blah, 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 the lift, the different levels, I put all, I'm too smart for these instructions. Uh, flagpole, silliness, ladders, why would they be using ladders, it's so stupid. Um, this, that, that, and this. Um, it's missing all of the, the Marks Toy Soldiers, which I own anyway, but I want to use like really, really modern... Um, Standard World War II stuff. Don't have any of those vehicles. It's not in my interest anyways. I just want to make a German base. But the most interesting thing here, it says 1980 Mego Corporation, which around 80 or 81 is when um, it's when Marx officially went out of business. So they probably broke apart uh, all of their collection and assets and sold them off about a year before they officially went under. So it looks like what we have here is a 1980 Mego reissue of an original Marx 1960s playset. Cool anyway, let's take a close look. Okay, let's start from the top here. So we got this great sort of like a sniper's uh, 
sort of uh, cupola or a turret. That's really cool. And then we go down to the, um, the second highest level and we have these, of course, highly realistic bright yellow guns. Why? It's like, it's like here they were at me go, oh, what do you want to do with little boys? They love bright yellow plastic, which I'll tell you something right now. I did not love bright yellow plastic as a kid. I wanted realistic colors, man. Give me gray, give me brown, give me green. Anything. Earth tones. The mountain probably should have been gray. Ridiculous. And what's with these idiotic ladders? What's with those idiotic... Who would have ladders on the outside of their thing? Maybe that's for the Americans to attack. Oh, wait a minute. And not only that, I mean, what kind of gun is that? It, it, it Maybe it looks like a Japanese coastal gun. And then this one here looks like the, the 150 millimeter American, the short version of the Long Tom or something, or that Mark's American howitzer. Ridiculous. Horrible. But you know, the gun emplacements, though, they look pretty good. Look at that. So that's salvageable, man. I'm going to do some really amazing stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add in like a, a quad, a German quad, and maybe an 88. And then uh, we kind of have another one of these wretched... Oh, here, another door is missing here. That's fine. I'll, I'll make my own door. These silly yellow ladders that won't have any of this. And then here we have this, this goofy door here. But it'll be kind of cool. Make it cool. So it opens up and it slides back. Now let's go into the fortress. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to give you a tour of the existing play set. And then I'm going to rip it apart and I'm going to describe to you what I'm going to do with my personal transformation of this project. Okay, so we've now entered the base and uh, I'm going to close the door here so nobody comes in. And um, these are the kind of figures I'm going to use for this uh, particular uh, rebuild of the play set. Like for 21st century toys, more realistic looking stuff. So let's start off with this this really fun and ridiculous lift. And it's just like a, a silly little box. And it goes all the way up and it can stop at all the different levels. And there's a, a little counterweight that you pull on and I filled it with putty. And, uh, and so let's take a tour. Remember, I'm going to show you what exists first and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So... Let's go to the next level. Level two. Okay, so on this level, uh, we have the um, the bright yellow beds, the bright yellow everything, the bright yellow furniture. Obviously, this guy was kicked out of the um, the uh, a Bauhaus school of design. Uh, so this guy is sleeping on a bunk bed, the barracks. Uh, as you notice, the the rifle rack, uh, the rifles are like five times the size of real rifles. Uh, this is where um, I guess they'd be eating their sauerkraut, and uh, oh, I'm missing I'm missing the the proper door for this thing. I'm going to put a balcony out there because uh, when you find out what I'm going to be doing with this uh, level, you will find it entertaining. Okay, let's pull on the pulley on the counterweight, and here we go. Blah, 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 up to the next level. Okay. So again, here we are. We have a couple guys loading a bright yellow howitzer. And there's this other weird thing that it's like, a, I don't know what the hell this is. I, it's like something on a pulley. I mean, not a pulley, a um, uh, like a sled with wheels. I don't know what the hell. Now, this is the communications area. Um, there's a little radio. It, it looks like a ghetto blaster more than it does like a, a World War II communications thing. This guy's sitting on like an undersized uh, park bench that they probably got from like a, a family or a park playset or something from another Mark's playset. Okay, let's go up to the next level. Ready? Going up. Ding ding. Not a very safe looking elevator, I must say. I myself would not ride in this thing. Okay, so we have a, a weird yellow ladder again, which makes no sense. It's oversized. And, uh, and over here, you got a couple guys, again, working uh, on a bright yellow howitzer. I don't know why, but um, it's got to be yellow. Maybe they, were, they had some cheap plastic left over from uh, like a, a, an infant's playset that wasn't successful. Okay, and that, that's, that's, that's as high as you can go. So a figure will have to, he'll have to climb up the ladder, and then you get into the top level. Hey guys, hi Klaus. 
Um, and here is like it's a, it's a gunner's nest, and that's why I have these guys sort of hanging around, smoking cigarettes, and looking out at the, uh, the turret. So that's it, man. Like like those are the levels. You have level. You have the fourth level, third, second. No, wait a minute. One, the main level, the second level, the third, the fourth, the fifth. Five levels of fun, kids. Okay, now this is what's going to happen here. So this is going to be treated like like this is the front door where, where they bring in the gold, the Nazi gold. So in this main base over here, it's all going to be filled with like a, like, like, um, um, uh, skids f piled with with uh, with Nazi gold and gold ingots and like smelting devices and stuff. And over here, where it's going to be the keep, where they keep all like the stolen masterpieces and statues that they would have looted from uh, Europe. You know, remember that movie, The Monuments Men? It'll be like that. So the whole bottom of the base will be filled with Nazi stolen treasures. Okay, so. I'm, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the elevator because it's the the lift is kind of cool. But I'm gonna get rid of the strings. I'm just gonna make it tighter so it just goes up and down. Okay, the beds ridiculous. And if I did if I was gonna keep something, I was just gonna paint it. So gone the idiotic uh, the idiotic uh, rifles that are that would have that be almost the size of a man gone. Uh, the silly tables and stuff. Nah, I I gotta remake my own tables. I got plans. Okay, so for this level. It's going to be exciting. So here, I'm going to build a big Bavarian-style fireplace with antlers. And, and maybe I'm going to have like a portrait of Hitler over the fireplace. And then in the middle here, I'm going to have a huge dining room table with uh, with uh, with antler-style chandeliers and like a probably a big Nazi flag and torches and stuff like that. And some cha a, 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 a chair on each end of the table with some big Bavarian uh, chandelier or something like that. Make it very cozy. Uh, this will be like a door. It goes out to the balcony so that the, the Nazi... Um, and there's a ramp here. So I think the Nazi commander, I'm going to put him in a wheelchair with a patch over one eye. And, um, and uh, he'll be like uh, the evil... He'll be like the evil, uh, like, you know, Nazi commander. Okay. In here, in here is going to be a... Um, in here is going to be like the pleasure room... Because I'm going to make a bunch of, um, like, uh, what do you call them, uh, Joy Division girls. So it'll be like, it'll be like this furry bed, again, with antlers and, and maybe bear skins and stuff. So they can have their, their orgies and stuff like that. And that'll be really cool. Okay, so now we're going up to the next level. Okay. Uh, the communications and that ridiculous park bench. Those things have got to go. they got to go. Gone. Uh, this, this ingot, uh, this, I'm going to build something like this from scratch though. This go with gold ingots that'll be down here, but it'll be much bigger and better. Uh, so that's got to go. Uh, this gun is definitely done. It's dead. Um, I'm going to, they could be repainted and, and maybe done up for some other project. Or if I really can't use them, maybe I'd give them away to a collector who really wants them. Okay. Up here, I'm going to put, I, I think an 88, uh, an, um, an improvised 88, something a little lower, so it'll fit. And then over here is going to be a really advanced communications area where I have a bunch of guys sitting at like, uh, like radios and, you know, communication stuff, uh, logistics stuff. Up here, I'm going to have a big war map and with like lights beaming down. It would be like a scene out of like a James Bond movie the main communications area and over here uh, would be like uh, uh, arms and stuff would be kept over here more supplies and then uh, let's go to the next level and in here this is definitely gone utterly utterly ridiculous uh, this weapon here is so silly I'll keep it for like a Japanese coastal gun or something as it, it looks it is gone it's the great purging so on this level uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna install a realistic uh, a quad uh, a, tw a 20 millimeter quad uh, German quad gun and uh, over here you can't see it um, this is where I'll keep like uh, more like ammunition and stuff like that and you know like uh, just just more equipment and stuff like that but here's the really cool idea for the top floor what I'm going to do, maybe I'll keep one of these beds, right? I'm going to make like a jail cell. 
and um, I'll enclose the jail cell with bars and stuff. So this is where like they keep like uh, they keep like the important prisoner, right? It'd be like in a movie, and so like there'd be like another jail, like maybe this would be like where the guards are sitting and where they can look out the window and, and defend. But so when when the commandos attack the base and they they come in through here and then they, they, they steal all the gold and they'll go up level by level they'll attack and he in this area here and then they'll get up to the weapons area then up to the gunning area and then they get up into here and then they can free the prisoner from his jail cell and uh, then the battle's been won. So that is what I'm going to do. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so everything yellow, including the idiotic yellow ladders, have been removed. And I was digging through my extra parts pile, and I found a, um, a German 20mm a anti-aircraft quad gun. Uh, and so, um, obviously, I'm going to have to paint it up and figure out how to mount it into the, into the, um, the gun port there. But that'll go up here, something like that. And then I also have, as you've seen in other episodes, I, I keep a, a supply of like spare 75 millimeter guns or 88s or anything like that. And even some swivel chassis, even though this is American, I'll build something like that so it'll go on there like this, right? And so it would be more of like a realistic, like swivel gun emplacement. But I'll put like the breech on there and everything. And that'll go nicely in here. Like realistic, like something that would have been done. And so that's it, man. So I'm going to take you guys along with me all the way. And we're going to build this thing together. And remember, guys, I do commissions. So if anyone has any dream projects and, and you can't do it yourself, you call me. And I will make your dreams come true. And so we're going to take this little dollhouse for 10-year-old boys and make it into a playset for 40, 50, 60, 70-year-old men. From dollhouse, boys' dollhouse, to man's grown masculine men's play sets. We'll do this today.